So it's a beautiful sunny afternoon and I'm by the stunning Loch Garten. Can you see the sunshine just shimmering on the water there? It's like little twinkling stars and uh, we've got this amazing lochscape in front of us and the hills there in the distance and what I'm doing is just walking through the forest and there are lots of ancient pine trees. I'll just uh, show you the the tops of the trees there. They're so high up. I don't know if I can get that far. Look at them. They're really enormous. Absolutely stunningly clear blue sky. And uh, so just coming back down to the loch and there it is in all its beauty. So I'm going to take a little wander along this path and just show you the next viewing point onto the loch, which is through here. And one of the lovely things about Loch Garten is you just get these glimpses through the trees and then the whole thing just opens up into this lovely little beach area. Now, my children and I once swam in this loch. It was icy cold and apparently you're not supposed to because it's full of pike, but I only discovered that afterwards and it was an amazing experience. I'm not going to swim today. It's been really quite cold the last few days. So you can just see the little mountains peeking over the trees there in the distance. And uh, in terms of journey inspiration, you really can't get much better than this. I don't know if that's going to work. I'm just trying to show you the sun glinting on the water again, but I don't know if this shot's going to really work straight into the sun. If you can see that starry glint, it's pretty stunning. So I'm just uh, very grateful to be here. It's one of my favourite places on the planet and it's lovely to share it with you and with the autumn colours the way they are at the moment there's just endless inspiration for painting, um, leaf preserving which as some of you know is a bit of a thing of mine sticking them in the journal look at those trees and it'd be interesting just to uh, do a whole bunch of upward strokes on a page using either watercolour or acrylic and just see what you could get in terms of the kind of leaf effects that are coming off those trees there. So I might have a shot at that. Anyway, look at that view. Okay, I'm going to walk on a bit and you can see the path ahead of me there and just see. Now coming up is a really stunning boulder in the loch and it's one of my favourite places to sit. But you do need a little bit of courage to get to it because you can see you have to take a bit of a leap of faith from the stone that's nearer to the bank. And uh, I mean, look at that for a view with those branches framing. So there are the, um, there are the stones and that one further out is a really lovely place to sit. I've painted the scenery from there before. That's where aqua brushes come in. You know, you've got a paint box and a couple of aqua brushes and a piece of kitchen roll. You can do anything really with watercolour anywhere, including right there on that rock. So, just stunning. And uh, I think you've probably had enough of me drooling over views, so I'm going to finish here. But I hope that if you get a half term holiday, you get the kind of peace and space that this place represents. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good holiday if it comes. And if not, I hope you find peace and space in the everyday. Goodbye from Loch Garten.